I'm going to show you a trade, um, teach you a median line setup. But before we do that, let's talk about what a setup is. Hopefully, I can give you a more functional view of setups, uh, a way to think about them, a different point of view than you might be currently thinking about them. Most traders look at market setups from the point of view of something mechanical, something that you can give over responsibility to, and that's not true. It doesn't work, and it's not very functional. It's not effective. So let's look at what a setup is. Let's see if we can change our view of setup. Let's just start with understanding setups. What is a setup? It's a set of conditions that come together in such a way that allows you to realize your objective, plain and simple, or your goal. So, first things first. thought this was just going to be an easy, easy to learn setup, huh? Let's understand this. First things first. You've got to know your objective. You've got to know what you're after here. What are you after? Because you've got to wait for conditions. You can't put them there. You've got to wait for conditions to line up so that you can meet your objective. You just participate in it. You just allow it. So, for instance, my objective on a trade is basically I'm looking for a 3 to 1 risk reward ratio. Your objective can be whatever. 1 to 1, 6 to 1, a new swing, an adrenaline rush, whatever. Either way, you're going to wait for conditions to set up in that fashion. Now, this is much different than, say, a mechanical setup, which is how we often approach it. A mechanical setup is like a chemical reaction, right? You get the right chemical set up for a match, boom, it's going to produce a consistent result. You're not going to get that here in the market because it's not fixed. It's a moving, flowing thing. You're never going to get the exact same circumstances to appear. It's always going to be new. So for something fixed like a chemical reaction, sure, we can expect a certain result. This is why all your back testing and all the systems that have ever been built are you know, mostly random. right? Because they're isolating different circumstances all the time. So let's understand this about a setup. So this kind of setup is more like a setup of, you know, let's say you wanted to go outside and fly your kite or go outside and go surfing, right? You will have to wait for conditions, which would be what? The wind, the waves. You'd have to wait for them to set up a certain way in order for you to get what you're after there. That's a setup. Now, notice in this case, you can't force these conditions to do what you want. You have to wait. The only way you can put these conditions in place is if you mechanically simulated them in a, you know, a wind tunnel or a wave pool or something. You can't mechanically simulate the market in real-time trading. So that's the basics of a setup. I'm going to understand the essence of things. I'm going to define things like swings and the process of swings and isolate them and work with them. And I'm going to wait for conditions to come together to align in such a way that will allow me just to participate. I don't do anything. I just go along for the ride. But I have to wait for the positions. It's not a forcible thing. So let's look at the setup finally, okay? It's going to look something like this. I'm going to have a market that's heading down, right? And then as it comes up, it's going to come up in smaller swings. These red swings are smaller than the blue. So what this is basically telling me is that the blue wave here, you know, buyers were not willing to step up. But here, as price is working its way up, we have you know, buyers stepping up and sellers not hanging on here. And so I'm waiting. I have no idea what this market offers me. But I can view this market and use some very simple tools like a multi-pivot line, like so. 
and I can wait for sort of a confirmation. This particular setup has the minor swings, finally given up, making a new low, and just, just like Andrew's normal five basic rules, you zoom a line, you're liable to come back and retest it. There's a high probability, right? So notice what's happened here in this particular setup. So this is like a minor confirmation. And this is what it will look like with the median line as it returns to the upper parallel. So what this is is a first pullback after the crack of a minor swing. And that's it. That's what the setup looks like. So that's the model. So let's go look at it in price. Price will always look a little bit different. We have a high. That's easy to see. We have a low. That's easy to see. And so this is our big swing. As you view this market, you can see it's making smaller swings up. Buyers step in, sellers don't hold. Higher low, buyers step in, and now we're trying. So here, we can just follow the path rather than fight the market, because who knows what this market will do. For all we know, this market will keep on climbing. All I'm looking for is conditions to set up for a 3 to 1 trade. I have a trade here to get long, but it doesn't look like it offers me 3 to 1, so it gets thrown out. So now we have conditions, and we just watch. Until they set up, forget it. So now we look at the setup. As you watch price, you can see it. Come back and test, and switch. So now we have a crack of the miner. And you can see how our median line comes into play. All right? So we're now looking at A, B, C. Price doesn't have to come back. It can keep going. But conditions have set themselves up for me. And even if I look close here, you know, I can, I can see where they were climbing... And you see the outside bar. We can see right where they give up. Right there. You can see them. They were climbing, floating. They tried, give up, retest. Boom. So conditions are set. As price comes back, I now have a place to think about an entry. My conditions will look like this. If I enter in somewhere in this neighborhood, put a stop above this, we call that a wash, about 30 ticks. Measure back down to the median line. Well, my screen's not cooperating. <clears throat> Measure back down to the median line. And we can see I have over 100 ticks. So that's 3 to 1. Conditions have now set up for me. How I enter from here is up to me. It's up to you. I have a stop. I have the flow. And I have the frame. Right? So understand what I'm doing here. First pullback, and this is sort of a confirmation. So me, I like to enter in here. It's no different than if you decided to then wait for more confirmation. And you can get more precision with this. Right? There's a danger in getting more precision. It's just we keep looking for the holy grail. What's more perfect? The more perfect line, the more perfect setup. 
you know, understand the conditions in place. Understand the flow. The tide is flowing down. Will this trade work or not? We don't know, but it's not guesswork at this time. It's different when you're guessing, and you know when you're guessing. I'm not guessing. I may be wrong, but I'm not guessing. And so don't get caught up on which bar, which test, which retest. You can wait for confirmations to the end of time. See, there's another one. There's another one. And so that would be an entry with a stop, risking about 30 ticks with a target of the median line. You stretch one extreme, one extreme, this is the center. Price has a high probability of reaching the median line. And that's the plan. So as you see, this trade risks 30 ticks, makes about 147 ticks, and it all set up. Don't care where price goes after that. doesn't matter to me. Now, I erase everything, start all over again. Wait for conditions to set up again. But if you understand the essence of this, you understand the setup. It just can't be traded blindly and mechanically, and you can't lay responsibility off. There's always conditions and context going to set up a certain way. So, you know, if you look, here, there's another one. A little bit different. So now we're looking at an Aussie 240, right? So I didn't trade this one, but, you know, I was watching it. Same thing. You see the miners? Higher low, higher high. Buyers, buyers. This is not prediction. This is what they're doing, right? They're climbing. They're climbing. They're climbing. Each time they're failing to... make a lower high each time you can see it you can even see what's going on here and as price cracks that's your first pullback into the upper parallel and your most probable target would be the median line this one it's a little rough on on stop and risk reward. So maybe conditions haven't set up all the way because I don't see a real easy stop to use on this one. So hope you enjoyed the lesson. Take the setup apart. It's basically minor swings. Cracking, giving you confirmation inside of a major swing. And so you're framing the trade. You're framing your market. You know what you're about, you know where your risk is, you know where your target is.